Hey again, it's time for more Gakuen Heaven 2. I'm Rahana, and today we are going to continue with Chiba's route. We are beginning on June 4th. どの data をロードする So this here is just going to show the last line from June 2nd. Mm -hmm. 本当に楽しみ And this is Yuki looking forward to going out with Chiba. He's been invited out for the 4th, and um... Just getting ready to go, so we're going to skip right to that. So we're on a Sunday. It's ten minutes to five. I came in my uniform, but I'm surprised I don't stand out. There's other guys from our school, implying that they're not in their uniforms. And I think this tiny little section here is something that you only get if you spoke to Keita and you picked the correct answer for him. Remember, he has these little scenes that can get unlocked where if you associate the person that you're paired up with in the Bell One with the right kind of attitude or personality as the matching partner from the original game. So... If you choose a serious person when you're talking to Keita, you will、um, unlock this little scene here, which in turn unlocks a secret scene or a bonus scene of Keita and Shinomiya. So he's saying, Oh, is that Professor Ito? What's he doing here? Is he waiting for someone too? No way. Could it be something like a lover? I love how Yuki just always assumes that it's something. Kind of scandalous. Not really scandalous, but you know, he always imagines that it's, oh, it's a lover. Oh, they're, they're meeting someone to go on a date or something. It's never, oh, he could be meeting a friend. No, it's always got to be a lover. And we don't get to see anything. We don't get to、um, see like, if the key scene got unlocked here because everything in my game is unlocked. So you're not going to see a little pop up saying, oh, this is unlocked now because it already is. But if you're playing, you might get a little pop up showing that a scene has become available for you to watch from the extras menu on the game. And here's someone here.、Um, I don't know if you remember him, but this is one of the members of the Kendo Club. He's actually a first year student. You can tell from his tie here, it's green, just like Yuki's. And his name is Yuhara. He is one of the, the new people in the Kendo Club. So he says, Oh, Ace. Yuhara, what's the name of the Kendo Club? Yuhara, what are you doing here? 俺は剣道部の先輩たちと部活お前こそこんなところで何やってんだ I'm doing club stuff with my senpais in the kendo club What are you doing here? 俺と待ち合わせだ He's waiting for me 千葉さん部長が待ち合わせしてたのってエースだったんすか Captain, so you were waiting for the ace and remember, Chiba is the captain of the kendo club which,、um, You know, to, to someone like me, it makes sense because he's the best one. Obviously, he should be the captain. But、um, in Japan, where age and, and、um, you know, position are considered very important, Chiba, as a second year student, it's kind of unusual that he's the captain of the Kendo Club because there are third years in the Kendo Club. It would seem natural、uh, to you know, the intended audience of this game for a third year to be the captain. But because Bell Liberty School is based on things like merit and、uh, personal progress and things like that, then Chiba's the captain because he's the best. So it makes sense for him to be the captain. So, you're waiting for the ace.、Oh. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go to the ace. And this person without a, a portrait here is just a random member of the Kendo Club. I don't know who it is. They don't even have a name. Their name is just Kendo Club member. Wow, I was sure it was Joker or Sonata. Captain, you're a member of Durak, aren't you? So why are you waiting for the ace? What, Yuhara, you don't know? The captain's gonna be in the Bell One with the ace. He is? Asahina, you asked Captain Chiba to be your partner? そうなんだそれで That's right. so... おい行くぞ And before Yuki can go off on explaining things, Chiba says, Come on, let's go. あはい、oh, right. 俺たちも行こうぜ。We're leaving now too. ぶちょお疲れさんでした。Captain, good job today. お、oh. Yeah. あれみんなはどこ行くんですか
Huh? Where's everyone going? Karaoke. They're going to karaoke. Jana, See you, Ace. Take care of the captain. Okay. Sure. Nani ga yoroshiku da? Take care of what? Ikuzo. Let's go. So at this point, she was still kind of prickly. Hi. Right. Demo. But is it okay to not go with everyone? It's really annoying traffic sounds. Oh. So now they're in that downtown area that we always see on the dates. And one of the things that's a little tiny bit disappointing about Chiba's route is we never get to see him in just regular casual clothes. And if you've watched some of the other Let's Plays or some earlier videos in this one, I think Joker and Sona have both said things about how Chiba has horrible fashion sense, and I would really have liked to see some of his horrible clothes, but he's wearing his school uniform. Too bad. And he was saying, yeah, I don't need to go with them. Even though you're the captain? There's, there's no captain in karaoke. Is it that you don't like singing or something, Chiba-san? Shut up. So I'm assuming that's that's a yes. Hi. Right. Did Chiba-san go with me to get out of going to karaoke? Well, I guess that's fine. Thanks to that, I get to go hang out with Chiba-san. I'm lucky. So where are we going today? Ramen. 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 And I like how Chiba just everything is just a one word answer with him. So he's he's obviously a simple boy. He's a good match for Yuki in that way. The two of them are kind of cute and derp and clueless, and it works really well. Yes, yes, yes. So now we're at the ramen shop. And this scene's a little bit long, so I may cut it in the middle, or I may just go straight through. So we'll see how it works out. Here's the, just the employee here saying welcome. Oh, it's so It smells really good. What'll it be? Tokusei the large special special miso char shu noodles. Hiyo! Otsura san wa? Coming right up, and your companion? Eto, ja, ore mo onaji no de. I'll have the same. Tokusei miso char shu men, nicho omori de. All right, so here's just repeating the order. Hiyo! Coming right up. Ramen ya ni kuru no hisashiburi. It's been so long since I've been to a ramen shop. Chiba san, nanka narete mashita ne. Chiba-san, you seem kind of familiar with this place. Do you come here often? Mana. I guess. Can you really eat the large one? It's fine. It's big. Sorry for the wait. Wow, there's so much. So this is the kind of restaurant with huge servings. Yeah, I'll say, jeez. That's a lot. I had I had ramen over the weekend, and uh, it was definitely not overflowing like that. It was really good though. All right. So now we have a decision here. We get to say it looks delicious or it's too much. Now. I don't even know why they gave you the option to make this decision because saying it's too much is so out of character for Yuki, it's ridiculous. It's delicious. Whoa, there's so many bean sprouts and the char shu is huge. Oh. Yeah. And the fragrance of this rich soup smells like garlic. It looks so delicious. Let's eat. Here I go. It's so good. This char shu is insanely delicious. It's infused with flavor and it's so tender. It makes such an impact. Oh. Yeah. She was just going to continue with the one word answers here. And these noodles are delicious too, and they go awesomely well with the soup. I know. This one's the most delicious around here. Yeah, it is delicious. 
Shiba san, ramen is good, isn't it? Shiba san, do you like ramen? Well, I guess. So, I'm going to go to Then you come here often? No. It's been a long time. No, it's been a long time. Living in the dorm, it's hard to come here. Living in the dorm, it's hard to come here. That's true, it is a bit far. So, when I came to the school, I always went to the school. That's why I always come here to eat when I go off campus. That's why I always come here to eat when I go off campus. So, you come here with Joker-san and stuff? No. So, you come here with Joker-san and stuff? No. 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 Sonoda no ryori no hou ga o suki da. Joker-sama likes Sonoda's cooking. Koko ni wa ichido o tsure shita ga. Dekamori wa omoshiroi ga. Aji ga zannen da to o shararete. I took him here once, but... He was amused by the huge serving, but he said it was a shame about the flavor. Joker-san, karai mono zuki da kara na. Because Joker-san likes spicy food. Ah. Yeah. Although I think that goes beyond liking spicy food. And I wonder if Chiba's kind of hesitation there when he said yeah was indicating that he knows why Joker doesn't like certain food. Then again, maybe not, because he didn't seem to know when we played Joker's Root the real origin of the scar on his back. But I won't say much more about that because that'll be a spoiler. But if, if you're interested in, in Joker's weird sense of taste and... The way he acts, definitely check out his his route. I have the entire Let's Play available, and uh, it explains everything. So Yuki saying, I think it goes beyond liking spicy food. Well, everyone has their own tastes. But what a waste for Joker-san! It's so delicious. That's Chiba glaring. Oh. Ah, no. Um, I wasn't complaining about Joker-san. So. I see. Scary. I was trying to make Chiba-san feel better, and he gave me an extreme glare. I guess his relationship with Joker-san is complicated. So? Huh? Hmm? You You said you had something to talk about. Talk about what? Talk don't play dumb. You called me out here because you had something to talk about. Well, I just wanted to talk. I didn't really call you out here or anything. What did you want to talk about? Spit it out. Um, did Chiba-san mistake this for a challenge or something? That wasn't what I was trying to do. Something to talk about. Something to talk about. Hmm. Then I'd like to ask you something. Why do you like Joker-san so much? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's what I want to talk about. Did you call me here to talk about something so stupid? It's not stupid, it's important. What about it? Well, we're fighting together in the Bell One, aren't we? So I thought we needed to know each other better. Why? I want to win the Bell One. I have to win it. For that, I need to know my partner. I think we need teamwork since we don't know what's going to happen in the Bell One. I see. So, speaking of Joker-san, and I think I'm going to cut it here and just continue because it's a pretty long explanation where Chiba talks about his respect for Joker and things like that. And this video is already 15 minutes long. I think a, a half hour video would be kind of pushing it for people's attention spans and just, you know, the amount of information that could be absorbed at once. And also, I would like to have a drink of water right now, to be perfectly honest. So, going to stop here, but the next video will pick up immediately here where we start talking about um, Chiba's relationship with Joker. Because, yeah, if you've been playing for a while, you might be wondering why... 
is he so respectful of him? Why does he, you know, pretty much do everything he says without question? So we're about to find out some of that and actually get Chiba to talk a bit because he doesn't really volunteer a lot of information. So in this scene, he actually talks a lot more than he usually does. And it's it's pretty interesting. So I think I think you'll enjoy that. But here's the lead up and we're going to stop here and continue immediately from here next time. So I hope that was interesting. And to see you again, well, for me, it'll be just a few minutes. I'll start recording immediately, but um, I'll see you next time.